Excel charts can be styled. This means Microsoft has preset combinations of line colors, background colors, line thicknesses, and so forth that can be applied to a chart. In the Excel application, only 12 styles are offered, but with VBA, we can see that there are 48 styles. Let's use VBA to create charts with all 48 styles so we can explore the styles. Here is the sample data from which we will create 48 different charts, each with a different style. Since this demo is about Excel chart styles, we will vary the style 48 times, but use only a single chart type, a line chart. We will make a single subroutine to make the 48 charts. Call it Make All Style Charts. You will need Excel 2013 to follow along. I will need a variable that represents each chart as we make it. Dim Chart Shape as Shape. Next, since I will be putting each chart in its own sheet, we will need a worksheet variable for the sheet dedicated to each chart. Dim sheet for chart as worksheet. Next, I will keep the chart data on a sheet separate from the chart sheets. Dim data sheet as worksheet. I have renamed the sheet containing data to data. Set data sheet equals sheets index data. Now let's iterate through the sheet styles 1 to 48. This range is documented on MSDN. For chart style equals 1 to 48, next chart style. Each time through the loop, we will start on the data worksheet, datasheet.select. Now we add a chart to the data sheet, specifying the chart style and chart type. The chart style is the for loop variable. The chart type is Excel line, meaning a simple connected line chart. Set chart shape equals datasheet.shapes.add chart to chart style Excel line. We keep a reference to the chart, which is represented as a shape, because we will need to move this chart into another dedicated sheet once it is set up. Select the new shape representing the chart so we can use the active chart global variable, chart shape dot select. Now tell the chart where the data is that it plots. We specify the data worksheet. It is not always necessary to specify the worksheet, but since we will be moving the chart to another sheet, it is necessary this time. Active chart dot set source data, source equals range, data, a1, B3. Now let's set the chart title so that after the macro finishes, we can review the charts and choose which one we like best. Active chart dot chart title dot text equals chart style and chart style. Now the chart is ready, so let's put it on its own worksheet. Chart shape dot cut. Add a new worksheet dedicated for this chart. Set sheet for chart equals sheets dot add. Let's also name the worksheet for the chart style that it contains. Sheet for chart dot name equals chart style and chart style. Now paste from the clipboard the chart that was cut to the clipboard a few lines ago. Sheet for chart dot paste. Now run the macro and you should see 49 worksheets, 48 for each different style and one for the original data. Cycle through the data to see which constant you should use in your VBA code to get a particular chart style. If this video helped you, please watch my other videos thumbs up this one and subscribe.